right. Well, our next guest has lived a life that could inspire several books, and in fact, she has written one of her own. Sonia De Du Bois is the author of Finding Shifra, The Journey of a Dutch Holocaust Survivor, and she's in studio with us today. We really Thank appreciate you. you being here, and you have your book in hand. Uh, let's talk about your story. Well, um, my parents were uh, sent to Auschwitz when I was 22 months old, and the reason I'm alive today is because of the bravery that they didn't do the natural thing, which is wrap your arms around your family and take them with you. No, they gave me to their very best friend to um, keep me safe. He um, was a famous artist, underground person, so he found a home for me, a permanent home with mom and pop. I had a daddy and a mother. Mm -hmm and a mom and a pop. Mom and pop brought me up and we came to the United States in 52. And, um, you know, my, my whole life I've searched for who, I, who else I am. Mm -hmm. And um, that really began in 2000 when a distant cousin from Israel called me and said, I think we may be cousins. Right. Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> like I, like after, after my life, you know, I, I'm the only survivor of my generation. Yeah. Um, I call myself the matriarch of a new family. Then when did you find out that this all had happened? At what age? Uh, Twelve. Wow. Yeah. But... The reason I found out then is that we were emigrating to the United States and I had to sign my name to my passport. Well, my name wasn't Sonia Vanderkaden or Clara Van Tyne. That's what I was born in. Mm -hmm. No, I was Sonia. I was Clara Van Tyne. So I had to write that name on my passport. So at 12 years old, I learned how to write my name. And then we came to the United States. My my life has been, I've been hidden most of my life. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the full extent of, you know, what, what happened to me. And that was until 2000 when I now know my cousin Bev called from Israel and said, I think we may be cousins. And um, through her genealogy and, you know, the Internet's been unreal. Um, I found my cousin Leo in Canada and would you believe there was a Van Tyne, which is my birth name, right here in Knoxville? You're a kid. No. no. My husband likes to look at phone books to see what <laughs> similar yeah. names yeah. there are. And we were blown away when we found Nico Van Tyne, who now lives in um, Texas. Yeah. Wow. But well, so what does this book mean to you now to have your story, you know, written? Um, it it you know, I used to walk around with a cloud around me. Uh -huh. And I now know who I am and how I got there. And you know, it's also a gentle way for um, students to learn about the Holocaust sure. because it's not doesn't talk about camps, you know, my parents went to camp, my grandparents, my cousins, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's about discovering who you know, are, yeah. who I am. Where can and, folks get it? Well, preferably they um, go to my um, post office box, mm -hmm. 50052, or they come to Aaron Church Saturday, October 1st. I'll have a book signing from okay. 1 to 3, and I have a book signing at the East Tennessee History Center, oh, good. 1022. 1022, so several book signings coming up in October where you can meet Sonia. We really appreciate you coming on. Congratulations on the book and finding your story and being able to share it with so many. I'm delighted, really feel good about this. Yeah. That's well, wonderful. Good Thank you. You're so very nice welcome. To visit with you too.